safe and secure. That's the goal for this upcoming election. But not everyone agrees on how to ensure that actually happens. KDKA's Megan Schiller breaks down the plans for an election integrity panel in Pennsylvania and explains why some lawmakers are fighting back. Republicans say it's an investigatory panel to keep the election honest. Democrats say it's a power grab by Republicans to keep their man in the White House. At the state capitol Thursday, the threat of COVID hit again. It was a little hectic this morning because when I got into the office, we had a phone call from the Republican leadership. A Republican representative tested positive, canceling this morning's voting session and any discussion about the contentious election integrity panel. It's just another attempt and part of their plan, I believe, to, to erode trust in, in, in voting and delay the, delay the results. Three Republicans and two Democrats would make up the election integrity panel, something state Republicans call a necessary watchdog group. This committee would be invested only with investigatory powers. It has no ability to change law. It has no ability to uh, take any legislative action. It has no interest in uh, interfering with the conduct of the upcoming election. House Democratic leader Rep Frank Dermody calls this a coup, saying he believes the panel will subpoena election officials to try to delay results. It, it would cause tremendous disruptions. They could subpoena votes. They could subpoena uh, drop boxes. You name it. So th that's what I believe the intent was. Republican caucus spokesman Jason Gottesman shakes his head, saying the Democrats' allegations aren't even based in current law. And some of those accusations are entirely inaccurate. We would not do anything to interfere with the, uh, the, 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 the timely count of ballots or in the process because we want to have safe and secure elections with accurate results as soon as possible after Election Day. Both sides claiming that they're right, blaming the other side for pulling funny business to try to shift things in their favor. So what happens next? The state leaders tell me they'll now have to wait two weeks for the next session on October 19th. That's the next time we'll hear more discussion about the panel. Reporting tonight, Megan Schiller, K2K News.